Hello, welcome to another read and vlog. Um, so this weekend is the next round of the Final Book Support Group hosted by Steph, Steph Loves. Um, this is a 48 hour round and I'll leave the information below but basically it is a mini readathon where you read final books or continue series or basically make progress in all those series which we'll broadcast tonight on. So my TBR for the weekend is Richard Osman, The Bullet That Missed. Um, this is the third book in the Thursday Murder Club series and I have adored books one and two, so I'm very excited to get to this one. My second book, which I'm hoping to read, is Queen of Ruin by Tracy Banghart. This is the sequel to Grace and Fury. Um, so I read Grace and Fury a few years ago. I think it was in 2019. Um, I know it was when I was traveling in the Balkans. So yeah, I'm fairly certain that's 2019. And it's it was good. I liked it, but I wasn't sort of so excited to pick up the sequel. Um, I found the sequel recently, bought it, and so now I'm going to, of course, pick up the sequel. I don't entirely remember what happened in book one. Um, but I'm hoping that this one will pick up fairly quickly and I can know what's going on. If not, it'll be a DNF and then series done anyway. So those two books are my priority reads this weekend. Um, it is currently about two o'clock on Saturday and I am, as you can see, barely any of the way through The Bullet the Mist. I am wanting to have a third book as a backup in case I do finish both of those two or like I said the enough grace and fury and I've got a couple options here so the first option is the Bane Chronicles um not really a sequel but kind of is in the Shadow Hunters series and is on my TBR so that's an that's an option the next option that I have is The Hand on the Wall by Maureen Johnson this has been really calling out to me recently so I think this is possibly the most likely and it will finish off the trilogy I know she's just released the the liars the lies within a, a new book a fifth book in the um Stevie Bell sort of world but I know this is the end of the trilogy and then the next one the box in the woods and the fifth one the something to do with liars um I think they're kind of a spin-off series maybe I don't really know but yeah this one I'm, I'm excited to pick up and then the other one that I've got as a backup option, ow, <laughs> just hit myself in the face with it, is Amari and the Great Game. Um, so this is a sequel to Amari and the Night Brothers, which I absolutely adored. And then this will get me caught up on this series. So I will be able to cross it off my series list because I don't, I, I think there are more, it's going to be more than a duology, but there's no more out. So I'll be caught up. So yeah, that's my TBR this weekend. Um, Bullet That Missed, Queen of Ruin, most likely The Hand on the Wall, but these two as well are possibilities. Um, we've got a little Bella behind me who did not appreciate me poking her in the tummy. Um, and Bracken is currently in her crate. She, me and her went on a run just now and she is quite wet. Bracken likes puddles. Um, any puddle will do. She has to sample every single puddle by drinking from it and sitting in it. So she's fairly dirty and soggy and just generally a bit gross. So she's in her crate, drying out, cooling down and just calming herself off a bit. Um, well, she's actually fast asleep at the moment. But she'll come out for cuddles in a minute, I'm, I'm sure. Um, so I think Steph is going on sprints from three o'clock. So I'm going to be joining there and hopefully can make a good dent into the bullet that missed. I'm excited about this one. Um, like I said, so far, I'm not very far through. I'm 30 pages in. I just know I'm going to love it. I love these books. I love Richard Osman's writing. I love the characters. I never guess the twists or guess who done it. Um, so I'm very, very hyped. Anyway, um, I will get reading and catch you in the next one. Bye.
to a final book support group. I'm reading Queen of Ruin. I am 30 pages in. I'm on chapter three. Um, it's okay. It's very typical YA of the late teens. I think this was published in 2018 or 2019 and it is very, very much of its time of, you know, princess has to save the world um, or sisters separated at birth. That sort of very typical tropes. And it's one of those where, and I was thinking about this this morning, with a lot of YA fantasy, it's not that I'm not enjoying YA fantasy anymore. It's just that I think I've read so much of it and the tropes are repeated so often that I feel like I've read this book before, even though I haven't. Um, even now, 30 pages in, I can probably tell you how it's going to end. And yeah, I'm just... I'm, I feel like I'm starting to get a little bit over... YA fantasy particularly especially the slightly older series where the tropes and the storylines are very similar I feel like stuff being published today is different there is more there's more diversity and there's more different stories being told um but I do feel like yeah this duology it is two white girls one is a princess, one isn't, and they are rebelling against the world. I mean, that same storyline could describe at least sort of 20 other YA series. Um, I'm probably going to carry on. I'm going to give it, I think I'm going to give it 100 pages at least. How long is this book? Um, it's 330 pages, so it's not huge, but yeah, I think I'm going to give it up to like, say the hundred page mark and then just see how I feel. Um, I do feel like it's probably not going to get higher than a three star, but I don't know. It might be interesting enough for me to finish it. It might not, but I have many other books in my pile of options pile of possibilities um so yeah i will see see how i get on with this one and then see where we go from them but i will continue reading there's still 25 minutes left in this sprint um so we're on i think like the second or third sprint so far today um it is about two o'clock and so i have read 30 pages what i have done today is set up my story graph read the world challenge so i've put all of the countries in the world in my challenge um added in books for some of the countries not even half of the countries um so hopefully i can keep that up and share that around and if anybody wants to join me in a read the world challenge or to diversify their reading please do it would be great i would love to see you there um but i will Catch you later. I'm going to get back to Queen of Ruin for the next 25 minutes. updates so i'm about 100 pages through grace and ruin and i've decided to dnf um it's not that this is a bad book i don't think it's a bad book at all i actually think it's got a lot going for it however 
I read the first book three years ago and I think if I'd read this one immediately afterwards I'd have eaten up and it would be possibly not a new favourite but it would be up there with with series that I really loved however now picking it up like I said three years later I'm just not connected to the characters um and I'm just not it's not the story that I am interested in anymore. Um, so we've basically are following two sisters who one is trained to be a grace, to be like a, a, an escort, to work with the king, basically be like a, yeah, I'm going to call her an escort for the king. And her sister has trained to be a handmaiden for her. Um, in Grace and Fury, they get to the palace and the prince who is choosing his his graces chooses Nomi, the handmaiden, as the grace instead. And his sis and the sister ends up getting sent to a prison island because she's caught with a book and it is illegal for women to read. So in this one the two have um Nomi has come to the prison island and they are now planning an, an uprising. So Things that I like about this, I like the feminist arc in here. Um, in this world, women are, have zero rights. They're not allowed, it is illegal for them to read, to write. They are not allowed to own property. They are not allowed to vote. Um, they have zero rights completely. And I like the, the feminist uprising we've got where the women are fighting for their freedoms. One thing that has only just happened in this book. Like I said, I'm 100 pages through and I've decided I'm putting it down. But one thing that happened that just kind of frustrated me a little bit is there was this big song and dance about having a vote on whether the women of the island are going to stay on the island, go and help the prince take over from his brother and, you know, change the world, or go and to a neighbouring country and seek asylum. And the vote ends up being that they want to go and seek asylum. Fine, cool. But what kind of frustrates me is the main character who has pushed for this vote and allowed people choice. It didn't go her way, so she's going to do what she wants anyway. And I'm just there like... <sighs> I understand why. And I understand it's a plot device because you need her clearly to be fighting so that you can push the plot on. But it completely undermines the whole point of having this big song and dance about having a vote and having a voice. Um, but yes, I, I do think this is a good series. And I think if you are fairly new to YA fantasy, you'd really enjoy it. I think if you like... Um, Girls of Paper and Fire you'd really enjoy this for me I'm just reading it two, three years too late so it's not for me at this time um, so I am going to be DNFing and, and hauling this on I am instead I'm going to stretch over going to be picking up The Hand on the Wall by Maureen Johnson um, this has been just calling out to me for days so I'm going to pick this one up, finish off this series, and yeah. I have got the box in the woods, but I sort of count that as like, I feel like this is this is the last in the trilogy, in the box in the woods and Nine Liars. I found out what it was called. They're like, I think they're spin-offs. Um, I don't think they are the start of a new series. I think they are spin-offs to the trilogy. So I'm counting this as the last in the series. But I'm also counting the hand, the box in the woods as book four. If this makes sense in my head. It does not make sense in real life. But, you know, this is what I'm going to be reading next anyway. See you in the next update. Hi. I um, realised that actually I never finished off this vlog. So I've just popped in to round off and finish off this vlog. So apologies for the just general lack of makeup and general lack um it is end of tuesday today i forgot what day it was then so i haven't actually read anything more since the weekend so my final book support group 
I feel like it was it was a success in a way. So I crossed two series off my TBR, which I'm happy about. Um, with Rich Dosman, the bullet that missed, that's got me up to date in the fan, in the Thursday Murder Club series. So I'm currently that's crossed off my list. Yes, there is another book, but it's not out yet. I've, I've read as much as I can in that series. With Queen of Ruin, yes, I DNF'd, but I've still crossed that series off my list. So I am two series down, which is good. Um, I would have liked to have read more. I am still reading the hand on the wall i am really enjoying it but like i said i've not really picked anything up on the last couple of days i might do a bit of reading this evening um but yeah i've not really read anything so i've got no other comments to make um so yes i think really that is all i have got to say apologies this is an incredibly short vlog but um yeah two series down great can't complain about that and um, Hand on the Wall is still going good. I will catch up with you in the next vlog. I'm actually heading back down to Devon to my parents um, this weekend. So you will see some, some farm B-roll, I'm sure. Um, this little squeaky one is coming with me as well as Bracken. Um, Bella loves travelling in the car. She is very weird. Um, but yeah, she loves being in her carrier and loves being in the car and will literally just curl up, fall asleep and just love it. Bracken is also fairly good in the car. Not quite as good as Belle, but she's fairly good. Um, but yes, I am heading down to Devon, so you'll see a bit of that. Um, I'm reading plans, to be honest, for this week. I want to finish off the hand in the wall. I want to make progress in the eye of the world. And I think I either want to start reading Percy Jackson or I want to be brave and read tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow, which still kind of scares me a little bit. But that is that. I will catch you in the next one. If you have been here and got this far, thank you. Please leave me a like, leave me a comment. Um, if you don't want to leave a comment just want to let me know you've been here leave a book stack down in the comments i would love it if you could subscribe to my channel and um i will catch you in the next one bye